Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is a 2016 superhero film and a sequel to the 2014 reboot Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It came out in June of 3rd, 2016, had a budget of $135 million and grossed $245.6 million and has a runtime of 112 minutes. Uh, Pete Plozek is Leonardo. Alan Richson is Raphael, Jeremy Howard is Donatello, Noel Fisher is Michelangelo, Gary Anthony Williams plays Bebop, and Sheamus plays Rocksteady. Yes, Sheamus, that Sheamus from the WWE. And Brad Garrett is the voice of Krang. Yeah, Krang, Krang is finally in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Uh, basically, this movie is very different than the first one, or the reboot, I want to say. It kind of follows the Ninja Turtles who, after defeating the Shredder, uh, must face an even bigger foe, Krang. And, I mean, listen, um, we have Megan Fox returning as April O'Neil, of course. Stephen Amell is Casey Jones. This casting was perfect and amazing. I absolutely loved it. Will Arnett is April's cameraman. cameraman and um, we have kind of shredder appearing in this but uh not really appearing he's like a minor character here and there hearsay but it's done in a way where it's fun it's interesting seeing bebop and rocksteady was great and once again it's heavily cgi and the whole aspect is like wow most of your 200 uh or 135 million dollar budget went to the cgi which is definitely what happened but then the action, like I said, is what saves these movies. There were moments where there was tension between the turtles, which was fine. It was there. But it just didn't work in a way where you're like, okay, what are the turtles doing? What are they really fighting? The turtles are fighting one of their biggest villains ever, Crank. Not only that, the Technodrome is there. And you know what the Technodrome is if you know what the uh, animated series is. And then we find the aspect of everything happening. Why Krang is here, what's he doing, how he got here, and it was just different. I mean, it was rumored for a while that Jim Carrey was going to do the voice of Krang, but then evidently Brad Garrett did it. And um, he just wants to destroy Earth and enslave the universe. That's his motive. That's it. And then the, the turtles have to stop him. Uh, while the aspect of the turtles are there, you have the live action characters of April O'Neil and Casey Jones. Their dynamic was really, really good. Adding Stephen Amell, like I said at the beginning of this interview, uh, excuse me, a review, was really, really good. Casey Jones was is that character we know. He was in the original, the first one. Elias Cortez played him, and he came back in the third one. Stephen Amell, great, perfect casting as Casey Jones. I was excited to see that, and I it was really good that that happened. Not only that, it's fun. It's a great co comedic movie. Not more so drama-esque, but I feel like certain scenes were just a bit too long, especially the dynamic with the turtles just didn't feel right. And the whole aspect of, you know, what can happen, what cannot happen, and, uh, you know, the whole thing about Splinter, and it, it's just it's just different than what you would think. And these reboot series... It is really interesting. I mean, the first one was a hit, the reboot in 2014. So they're like, hey, let's fast track a sequel, bring everyone back. This is the 2016 version. The Out of the Shadows thing really is different. You should just call it Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. That's it. Or Krang or so Krang Return or something like that. But Out of the Shadows didn't like it. Didn't. I mean, this movie was not a big hit. I mean, it was just, it just felt flat. I wasn't, and I'm not a fan of this reboot series at all. The action is what saved it. Bebop and Rocksteady also saved it. And other than that, Stephen Amell also as Casey Jones really, really saved this film. This is a slightly, by a slim margin, a better film than the 2015 version. 2014 version, excuse me. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows gets two and a half out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? Do you think they needed a sequel? Was it too late to bring in Krang as the villain? Do you think someone else could have voiced him? What do you think about Shredder just being there as a side character? Do you think could have been done better? 
And also, what did you think about finally getting Bebop and Rocksteady and kind of this live action animated CGI film? Or do you think it could have been done differently? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And also let me know what rating you would give this movie. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And thank you for tuning in.